You'll notice that we've now switched programs. We're in InCopy, where we'll work on that assignment that I've just created in the InDesign page. The first step is to open the assignment, and I do that by opening it like any other file, but looking in the subfolder where I saved it. If I look in there, I can see the assignment waiting for me. I can tell it's an InCopy assignment, because it has this little InCopy icon next to it, and it has the Inca suffix, which stands for in copy assignment. Double click on it to open it and you'll see that all the four text frames when it comes in, let's just give it a second, here it comes, you'll see that all the four text frames that were in this assignment have now opened in in copy, one stacked on top of the other. You can see three there and if I just scroll down you can see the fourth, this other story below it. So we've got all four uh, items or four objects in this assignment ready to work on. You can see the two headlines here at the top and then the, the text of the two stories below them. Incidentally, if you're working in story view, as I am now, you can make things a little less cluttered by minimizing the frames you're not actually working on. So you do this by clicking on that arrow there on the story bar and it'll close the story so that you just see the story bar in the background as it were while you work on other material. So if I want to open that uh, pollution story again I just click on that little arrow again. So uh, for now I'm just going to keep this story open and uh, I'm going to delete all the text in it because I want to replace it with a fresher story that's just come in. So I click in the, the text there and uh, I highlight it all because I want to get rid of it. I press my delete key and notice that nothing happens. Well, something's happened. I've got this uh, warning message saying I must check out the contents of this frame in order to make changes. And it's asking me if I want to check the frame out now. Now this is a really fundamental aspect of working jointly in both in copy and in design. You have to check content out before you can work on it and when you're finished you have to check it back in again before anybody else can work on it. It's a way of preventing more than one person from trying to make changes to the same assignment at the same time. So to get on with what we're doing here I'll just click yes to check the content out and we can then delete the text that we want to get rid of. There we are, I've got rid of it. I can now paste in the text of another more up-to-date story that I've taken from the Press Association. I've got it on my pasteboard ready to paste in. And uh, there it goes, I've pasted in text, the text of a story about tributes being paid to a teenage boy who died in an accident on the railway. You'll see that as soon as I drop this text in, the copy fit bar kicks in and tells me that this copy is far too long. It's over by 18 lines. But having had a quick read of it before I copied it from the PA Newswire, I think I can see some quick ways of making changes. Uh, I'm going to concentrate on the tributes being paid to the teenage boy and get rid of uh, this further material from the British Transport Police. So I'll delete that. I've still got the red copy fit bar here telling me it's still a little bit over but I can make some quick changes. Um, just get rid of um, the fact that it's from Broadstairs there. Move down here, his head teacher. Uh, these are fairly crude edits but I've decided I don't need the name of the school. Scroll down. I'm still slightly over a uh, special assembly has been held for pupils and the school is considering naming an annual prize for languages after him along with a memorial garden. We can delete the fact that the memorial garden is going to be in the school grounds, pop in a full stop and that copy now fits. I've got the green copy fit bar so an example there of how you can quickly make changes and see as you make those changes just how close you are to having the copy fitting exactly. Um, the next task is to change the headline to fit the new story. Again, I'll need to check the frame out to do this. I'm going to work now on this frame where I've just placed my cursor. And the easiest way of doing this and of keeping track of what's checked in and uh, the status of various assignments is to use the assignments window. To open this, I'll go to the Windows drop down menu and click on Assignments. And you'll notice that um, 
The assignments window has now opened here. I can move it around on screen. And it's already got the right-hand news column Inca assignment open and I can see its various elements listed here in the window. The one that's selected, the one that's blue, is the one where my cursor is. There's my cursor in that text. And to check it out I just go down to this little head and shoulders icon here and I click on that and it's checked out that copy. You can tell it's checked out because a little pencil icon has now appeared next to it. So I can now write a new headline. Get rid of that one. Tributes paid to Ben. And the copy fit bar tells me that fits. Now it does fit, but if I look in layout view and uh, just zoom in on it here, I can see that although the headline fits, just move the assignments window out of the way, although it fits, it's a little bit shy. So in other words, there's uh, there's quite a bit of space left to the right of it. So just uh, click to delete then, and I'll change it instead to tribute pay to rail victim, which nicely fills the space, and the job is done. Um, finally, uh, I need to check the assignment back in again. I do that by going back to the little head and shoulders icon. Just move uh, the assignments window back up. There it is, the head and shoulders icon. And uh, if I click on that now, uh, you, you get this warning that I'm about to uh, make changes that cannot be reversed because I'm moving it into that netherworld between InCopy and InDesign. So this has got to be a final change. So I click on OK and you'll see the pencil icon has now disappeared and it's checked back in. Just go back to Story View because the remaining task is to, uh, if I just put my cursor in the text of the story, you'll see that's still checked out, still got the pencil icon there, so I go down to the check in and check out box there again, the little head and shoulders box, click on that, click OK, and that's now checked back in, and the job's finished. I've done the work on this part of my assignment.